Today, I will be showing you how to create Happily Ever After Potion from Shrek 2. The things you will need for our Happily Ever After Potion is one glass boiling beaker, and I'm using a 500 milliliter one, and then I have added a cork. We will need a container to mix our uh, gel into, and I'm using just a regular beaker. You could use a cup, whatever, and I'm using a plastic piping bag. We will then need a spoon for mixing some of our clear styling gel. And again, I like to use the alcohol-free kind that I can get at my local Dollar Tree, and it is a thicker consistency gel. You will need some neon blue acrylic paint. And then we will use this fun new product that I found on Amazon. This is a coaster that lights up. It has LEDs on the bottom and it has a sticker. So we are able to adhere it to the bottom of our potion bottle, a glass, whatever you want to stick it to. And then when you push the bottom, it lights up three different ways, depending on how many times you push it. So we're going to use it on the solid steady light but um yeah i love this product i think it's really cool and we're able to put it on anything so um yeah so we're going to use that today and finally we will need our label printed on sticker paper and the link for this is in the description down below let's get started okay so the first thing we're going to do is take our piping bag and put it over whatever container we're going to use to do the mixing and then we're going to take our gel and we're going to fill it up And now that that's mixed up, we're going to take our neon blue acrylic paint. And I'm going to squeeze just a very little bit in here because I still want this to be a translucent blue like it is in the movie. But at the same time, I want it to still get that neon coloration. And then we are just going to mix this up. Okay, so as you can see, once we've mixed it up, we um, still get a translucent mixture, but at the same time, it still it has a nice blue quality that's not going to be completely see-through. So um, that's what I was going for. I think this is a pretty good match to what is in the film. And now we're going to go ahead and get ready to fill up our beaker. Okay, so now that we have our bottle filled up, and just so you guys know, this is about one full bottle of the gel, so you could almost mix it up inside of the gel bottle, and then um, I definitely think the piping bag is going to be the best way to go so that it doesn't get stuck in the neck of the bottle, but um, yeah, this basically was a whole bottle, and that filled it up about where I wanted it to be, and then I'm just going to take my cork, and I'm going to cork it up. Now, if this is going to be somewhere around kids, or if you're going to use it for a cosplay, you may want to use some E6000 glue to just glue that cork on so that it's not removable. And then all we're going to do from here is take our light up coaster and I'm going to take the adhesive barrier off and then I'm going to stick this onto the bottom of my bottle. And once that's stuck down really good, then we can actually turn the light on. So like I said, there's strobing flashing and steady and we're going to leave it on steady and when all my lights are off this is going to be way brighter than it appears right now and finally we're going to take our label printed on sticker paper and we're going to place it onto our bottle um, now normally you would want the potion label down here i'm going to tell you right now this bottle is so curved that i attempted to put four different labels on it and they creased so terribly bad that I ripped them back off. So we are going to place the label around the neck of the bottle so that we still know it's the Happily Ever After potion. We still get the cool light-up effect. Truthfully, you almost don't even need a label for this one. I just think it's cool in and of itself. But um, believe me, it is not worth the struggle and heartache to place the label on the round part of our boiling flask. It's just horrible. Okay. So, uh, we are going to peel the backing paper off of our sticker paper. And again, as always, I've gone around the outside edge with a matching marker, and then I am just going to place this onto the neck of my bottle. Make sure I'm straight. I think so. And we're going to wrap this around. 
You could also print this on regular paper and make it like a tag hanging off the bottle. I feel like there's a lot of options we could do with this, but I kind of think this is fun. It does something with a, this big long neck of the bottle. And believe me, it's much better than trying to put the label onto this super round boiling flask. And once we get our label on our potion, and let me light it back up. And there you have it, our Happily Ever After potion straight from Shrek 2. And this is maximum strength for you and your love. Drink of this potion and bliss will be thine, happiness, comfort, and beauty divine. But be warned, sometimes what we think we want is not always what happens. So if you haven't seen Shrek 2, go ahead and check that movie out. It's pretty funny. Um, has some really great little hidden storylines in there. Um, I made this potion because we got several requests for it, so I hope you enjoyed this. If you guys like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.